What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on, folks? You know who it is again, Mr. Warmack. I'm back in the building. And uh, tell me a video about something that I... I, I, I I'm gonna talk about us uh, when we were. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna talk about something that people get confused. First, I'm gonna say I love an independent woman. I'm gonna say that off the bat. I love myself an independent woman. And uh, what happened was uh, how this how this video came about was we. There, I'm in a lot of like I said, I'm in a lot of discussion groups on Facebook, and we talk about a lot of things. And one of the things was, uh, 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 why was it so hard? The, the main topic was, why was it so hard for black women to find a man, and this and that. And one of the topics they branched off to was, well, an independent woman. And I put my comment in, where I said, well, I said, I said an independent woman, and like, I said, an independent woman is a truly independent woman who handles her business and doesn't rely on the government for anything. Now, when I mean government, I mean whatever you get from the government, that's not being independent. Because the point I tried to make was, how can you claim independent when you rely on my Uncle Sam? It's like, you don't need no man except for Uncle Sam. And then a the couple of these chicks went ballistic. Like, what, what a couple of chicks I, I had sidebars with, for the inbox conversations, and I explain what I said, and they saw what I meant. But you got a couple of these, like, uh, these project ghetto chicks that have eight kids to, like, 20 different dads who rely on the system to get through the day. And that's the type of chick I was talking about. I said, I said you're not independent. Because, number one, you're getting the government, so you're getting government subsidies. You're getting, you're getting either one or you're getting the whole bundle. I said, you're not independent. And I said, somebody's paying for that for you. And then one chick tried to say, well, you rely on the government. I was like, no, I don't rely on the government. I said, truth be told, I try to keep the government out of everything as much as I can. I pay my taxes. And I said, I have, I have my own business. And I, said, I, I said, trust me. I said, I pay my taxes. I said, I pay more than my fair share in taxes. I said, I do that to keep the government out of my business. I said, there, there are times where I may, you know, may have been late paying taxes or, I said, but I always pay my taxes, but I keep the government out of my business. And I said, that's what you truly want. I said, if you rely on the government, I said, you're a schmuck. I said, people who rely on the government should understand it's not the government's job to keep you in business. The government's job is to keep you relying on the government if you get any type of government subsidies. As far as being like a like a like a person, individual. It's not, not business wise, it's not an individual. The government doesn't make anybody rich. The government and here's the bad part about it. The government has programs for you to be a truly independent woman, but a lot of these women don't want to take advantage of these programs like you get like what 300 for a car purchase babysitting you get money for going to school but a lot of these women want money so they can sell their food stamps go get yourself a, a still reserve or gold liquor or whatever whatever, whatever, whatever the drinks they drink nowadays and then, then they want to claim and say well I'm an independent woman like no you're not I'm paying for my family and I'm paying for yours so you're not independent. You just you just don't know where the money's coming from. It's coming from me. And then, like I said, and then and then here's what they, they hit you with the as I call it with the nigga logic. This will f you. You're gay. This the nigga logic. They, they go directly to call you names. Like I tell people, once they start calling you names, that's because you have they can't they can't come up with like anything against you. Cause they know you tell them, you, you saw them what you're saying. Chicks said, oh, you're gay. And I told her, I said, well, that's the problem with you chicks. I said, you say stuff like that and you're a single female. You teach your son saying that stuff. 
and then you sung his hand. Because I said, I said, when if a young man ever called me gay, he knows there's, there's, there's problems. I said, that's why men don't go around calling other men gay. Because it, it, it's a, it's, it, it got to get handled, with, and if it was serious enough, it will get handled right then and there. You know, I don't want to call calling other men all, you're a gay, you're a homo. I don't care less if you are, it's your business. But the fact of me calling them out of the name for what, what, what does it serve? What purpose does it serve? I stick to the topic at hand. Like, like here's, and that's why I respect a lot of people because, all, and then you get the, then you get the dudes, wow, they, they try to, they try to swipe me or they try to make me look bad, trying to throw a little shot at me. Well, I don't argue with them because this is why I was raised by a single mother. No, nothing like I said. I said, well, yeah, I'm glad I'm no longer with you either too because you sound just like your mother. And I said, I have two bitches in my ear. Well, you're gonna take shots, we can all throw shots. But the fact of the matter remains is I had to hear this single mother, I mean, it's an independent woman routine, but my chick was getting money from the government, which means you're not independent. Well, everybody has flaws. I didn't, I, I said, that's nothing to do with what I said. I said, everybody has flaws, even I have flaws. But at the same time, if I'm living with my parents and I have no bills to pay, how can I, can I call myself an independent man? No, because I'm living off my parents. You just have to be living off the government. There's no such thing as an independent woman if she's getting any type of... Uh, if, if you get any type of government subsidies, you're not independent. That's just that's that's what we call nigga logic. So, I, and, and it just it just fed from there. So it, it, it's just getting sick to the new definition that people have nowadays. And uh, I just wanted to just want to give a little video of what really independent was. Like I said, and then now a lot of people say, well, you, you're independent. And then they, they want to get nitpicky and want to down every little bit of syllable. Well, oh, you're, you're dependent upon that. And I was shit, sure, man. But that doesn't mean you're independent. And like, they want to take it all like, like left field and shit. I'm like, all right, whatever, man. So, I want to appreciate you watching the video and like, being an independent woman, don't get your money from saying, man. Peace.